Hi Capricorn, welcome to your past life karmic lessons. And let's take a look what's in your past life that you need to uh, finish off, you know, the finished businesses that you need to tender and uh, that you still need to fulfill in your present life. Okay. You know, there are a lot of occurrences in our present lives that has something to do with our past life. Like, for example, the people that we're stuck with, the people that keeps coming back, the situation that keeps on looping, you know, uh, same old situation, different faces. It's like there are sometimes that you'll ask, why is it it's so hard for me to find love? Or why is it that I'm having a lot of hard time being in a relationship and finding the right one? Or sometimes you're working hard and yet you keep on attracting the wrong kind of people. Wars and battles, leaving or travel, male or female. Most of the Capricorns have a very either strong or feminine side. Okay. And you do have a very good talent in music and arts. Okay. Actually, this is not yet. Let's me, let me let's pull out three more. Okay. All right. Now, you were first born as a Greek Roman. That's why you're very fascinated with some Greek gods, Greek mythology, and you know, those Cyclops, uh, you know, um, uh, those stories about uh, gladiators and stuff. It really fascinates you because you feel like you've been there once, you know, once, uh, once in your past life or when you were still an old soul. And actually, you were an old soul. Now, you have a very strong intuition. You're very gifted. You are actually, um, you love helping out other people. And you work, uh, sorry, you've been one of those white witches, which, is, which are very rare, okay, that lived in the mountain. And you're very religious, which is your, you stick down to your creed, whatever your religion before. And uh, you were also very brave because you serve as a war soldier, okay? Now, upon this, I feel like you've had one child in the past, but you left your family behind just to serve your country or just to serve your, your people. You have good talent in arts and music. You have very strong masculine or feminine side because you live as a male and female, both. And uh, right now, whatever is like, for, like for example, you're a female right now. Then you have more masculine side, or you're more apt to like some male stuff. Okay, and if you're a man, then you're more likely to be more in touch with your femininity and uh, or to your feminine side, and you're more likely very adaptive to girl stuff. Okay. And uh, you do very good in listening and advising and counseling people. As I've said that your work as a white witch in, in, in the mountains before in your past life. This is just one, okay? One of your past lives. One of the stages. And uh, you're also, you have some healing abilities. Uh, you have some healing touch. And you also heal people. You travel for... It's like you're an herbalist or you're a doctor and you travel just to heal people in different places, okay? And uh, I feel like you've been helping out a lot of people, but unfortunately you lived with, um, with so much betrayal that's been happening right behind you, okay? That's why you've been experiencing a lot of, um, a lot of uh, betrayals and cheatings in the past or in your relationship right now you have gone through food you have gone through starvation that's why right now you know how to work harder and you know how to keep your food uh you know like you know how to stock your food because you don't want to go through that period of uh starvation again and you hate it when there is a food that's being spoiled okay because you value each and every grain of that and you hate it because you know that there are also a lot of people who's been 
not being fed or who's also starving around you. You love nature. You're very close to nature. You love trekking, camping, staying outside from time to time. You're both introvert and extrovert. And I feel like you also, you often wonder, okay? And, or you love farm life, okay? Even though the, uh, the farm did not came out here. But you're very close to nature, being an earth sign of your own. And I feel like you're also very in touch with your earth side or earth ground. Now, when you were working as an herbalist or as a doctor, you've made vows, okay? to somebody or you there are someone that you were married to but you've been traveling all over you keep on traveling okay and one time when you actually came home there was you have discovered a uh, betrayal that your spouse whether you're a man or a woman your spouse and uh, your best friend or someone that you know around you have been having an affair while you are busy helping out other people and something happened that you were sent out to the imprisonment and uh, and you have been incarcerated and been judged by the law okay so and right after that you've had one baby but i feel like you were you were incarcerated with so much grief and uh, hatred right within you okay right inside of you another thing here is you were you were born in egypt or you you were born as one of the middle first middle easterns okay as i've said that you have gone through starvation and now you've gone through some strife in life that's why you know how to work hard right now you know how to value your money you know how to you know it's like you're so afraid of stopping to work or not having any work at all because you you don't want to go through the same kind of strife again or difficulties and you're very good in calculations approximations math so either you're working as an engineer architect or you know or something like that or accountant or financial analyst or something like that okay there are some capricorns who's working in the medical field there are some capricorns who's working in the financial field or calculations now what are the lessons that you need to learn from this because what happened to you was you were betrayed and you you don't know how to forgive and you don't know how to it's like you were imprisoned or enslaved okay because of uh, you took the uh, the law in your own hands you were very very upset because of the betrayal which is i feel like mostly right now you're going through a lot of betrayals and in all of your relationships you keep on getting cheated on you keep on getting taken advantage of and you feel so alone every time that there's somebody that you need to vent out with to to help you out with you're very you're also very generous okay you're very hospitable you're a very charming person but when it comes to other people helping you out and to you know to keep your company it's always something like um it's always something like they're not really there for you or whenever you don't have anything else they don't really recognize you you will only know the real color of your friends because you don't have anything anymore you know and sometimes people a lot of people envy you betrayal is actually a part of the um what do you call this the like the downed star in your when you were born and uh it's always there with you the envy the jealousy office politics business competition relationship competition family competition even you know even your own partner sometimes they do compete against you that you know even if you mean like supporting them they always want to have whatever you have and they always want to win against you or have more than you but you are very but you have a very competitive nature you know being the goat yourself you're a fast runner and you don't stop reaching the tip of the uh the the tip of the mountain you, you always go for that whether it's stormy it's snowing it's summer it's you know whatever weather it is you don't stop going up okay that's how tough you are 
and people love to beat you up people love to beat you in any other competition but you are very competitive in nature all right i'm oh, sorry let me shuffle this again okay i got lost there a little bit now you also love traveling and i feel like you love helping out other people but one thing that you don't want and one thing that you hate about is that you know people take advantage of your generosity people take advantage of whatever you have and whatever you have they also want to have a slice of your cake okay oh soulmate in the wedding mm. okay now you are you will only have that peace of mind and you will be like you're what do you call this it's like you will only ha find that luck or you will find that uh calling okay in another place and i feel like you will be residing in another place you do you have a lot of passion for life passion for love and passion for the one that you're with but unfortunately sometimes you do embrace eyes okay you have rare friends but the friends that you have right now they are very helpful they are very resourceful and whenever you need them even if you have rare contacts with them they do help you out and don't rush into any decisions mostly and most of the time you do think whatever you say and do and this is what you should always stick around to okay now you need to let go of control issues because you are very very controlling there is a relationship around you or there's an upcoming relationship that you feel like that is not what you really need that you feel like it's going to start out from a very toxic situation but it will turn out to be something that you know that is more of a disaster in disguise now keep an open mind you need to you're very perfectionist you do have high standards high idealism and you're very optimistic about your life and uh, wedding is something that you feel like you're really fear of or you're not really a big believer of a uh, wedding because of the things that you have gone through every time that you marry somebody or every time that you're about to marry somebody or even wear a wedding ring something happens or something you know this person betrays you so you're not really a firm believer of a marriage especially that in your past life you were betrayed by your own wife okay so whether you're a man or a woman okay you were betrayed by your spouse and somebody who somebody who cares for you and somebody who is around you now this you know the one who's the one that you're supposed to meet or the one that you're going to meet soon uh which is in the period of fall October, November, this is the right one for you or someone who has a birthday around November. This is the one that you're going to be marrying to or the one that you're already with. This is the one that you're going to be ending up with. You just need to learn how to communicate because sometimes you're very, you have good ways with words. Okay. You have, you, you're very eloquent and you're very diplomatic. But sometimes you do get tired out when the person that you've been talking to just keeps on rolling over and over again and keep on doing the same thing over and over again. You're a very good parent, by the way, because you know how to guide. You're very disciplined and you do have, it's like you're very self-disciplined and you know how to set your boundaries. Okay, so when you already have your own child, you know how to raise them well and you know how to teach them the right graces and ethics okay and trust issues you do have big trust issues you don't really trust easily but when once you trust you don't want your trust to be broken okay because once it has been broken you cannot really repair it anymore and you also need to learn how to forgive it takes 10 years for you to forgive but it takes you know only a minute for you to learn that's one thing about capricorn okay now and sometimes you do defy some relationships or connections to other people because once you feel like okay i know where is this going you know it's like ah oh, this person is like this this person is like that 
But you, one thing about you is that you give people a chance to be in your life for them to spread their wings and be who they really are. Show off their colors and, you know, see the goodness in them even though they're such a very negative person. You know, sometimes you meet people who are very dark and negative, but instead of looking at them as a very dark and negative or like a diabolic or demonic person, you see to them, right deep within them, what is it that drives the darkness in them? Why is it that they are acting like this? What pushes them? What entices them? What inspires them? Okay, it is because that there is something very painful that they have gone through that they never got the chance to confront and get over. That is how you see through people. Now you have to learn how to forgive. Because you have been going through a lot of betrayals and you see life as a perfect circle, but actually it's not. Okay, you need to accept life's imperfections. And cheating, betrayal, lies, deception, it's all part of human nature. And it will always be a part of a relationship. Okay? And, you know, sometimes you also need to learn how to fight for yourself. And not to fight for that person. If the person really loves you in a relationship, they're the one who's going to be fighting for you. And not the other way around. If they're going to let their heart be stolen by somebody, then it means that you're not really, you know, it's like you don't really deserve that person. Because you're too strong for that person and that person is very weak. Alright, so let's take a look. And... Okay, let's take a look at your general card reading. What are the things that you still need to remind yourself about? The lessons that you need to learn and bring, accept and adapt. Okay. See, the betrayal came out here again. You know, the magic should come right within you. Okay. And... Alright. Okay. The thing that you need to learn is that betrayal will always be a part of your life path, okay? And uh, every time that you communicate with other people, especially if they are, you know, if they're, you're going to become famous or you're going to be known or people talk about how good you are, you will be attracting a lot of negative people who will try to defray you and who will try to, you know, like, uh, uh, destruct you, okay? Now... In your present life right now, I feel like you still have to go through some periods of betrayals and deceptions from, you know, the one that you're working with, the one that you're with, or the one, or with your family members or relatives. But you will always win, and you will always persevere, and you'll always remain on top, okay? You'll always get what you want. You will always have the justice that you deserve, okay? You just need to use the magic right within you, and you are a very good solution maker, or you're very good in uh, um, creating some solutions for yourself. Now, you also, you have very long patience, but at the same time, you're, you're very impatient, okay? And uh, you also need to learn how to distract, loosen up, and uh, try to do some things, if there are some things that you're you, that you cannot just get for now 
but the only thing that you need to to learn it, it is uh, as part of your life path is that not everything is all about money not everything is all about materialism sometimes you also need to stop and smell the flowers yes you have gone through such dire kind of living a communal living and difficulties and starvations and lack of finances but right now you are already blessed and uh, you know guided and given with with the with a kind of lifestyle or life you know that you never had when you first existed so the only thing that you're having a lot of hard time and the only thing that you're having some problems with are the people around you the people who are very envious of you the people who compete against you the people who wants to bring you down and the people who's always blocking your way that one thing is that right you know despite of your success you will always have that kind of average or below average uh, uh, relationship that you always need to work on and that you always need to work up okay and always try to watch your back don't trust fully I know that you don't know how to I know that you're having a hard time trusting but every time that you do this follow your intuition and whenever you feel like something is off listen to your intuition and don't let others distract you from not thinking that it is what it is okay and especially if your work is related to travel or you do have some travel related to your work especially if you're always going away make sure that you will always have your family with you okay and uh, be careful with some water signs around you who are younger because these are the people who will be more likely repeat the um, your past life okay the last lifetime that you've had where you were incarcerated all right and uh, I feel like it is much better for you to move away from your own family or from your own root because this is where you will be thriving this is where you will succeed and this is where you will be getting most of your strength knowing your own qualities and you will be developing whatever you have right now mostly your skills okay be careful with some tricks that somebody will be presenting to you in a relationship or if they are actually wearing masks you always need to trust your intuition and um, trust your own judgment don't be so pessimistic but you you will always find a solution to your problem okay and let the person fight for you and not fight for them because you do have a big heart and you're overly protective when it comes to the people that you love but sometimes you need to let them do whatever they needed to do okay in order to protect you and love you as well all right so anyway that's it for you for this time capricorn if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live with the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net and we talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls okay and offer pre-recorded video readings thank you for watching subscribing and sharing my videos and watching my channel all right blessings to you